What's up guys, my name is Carl and welcome back to Tech Hunter. It is a little bit cold today. I think we're sitting at 9.8 degrees currently in my uh, kind of shed, studio, whatever people want to call it. So I've got a coat on, I've got a fluffy jumper on and I am trying to keep warm to begin with. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a slow start to this video. I need to clean up this place. There's a lot of kind of bug juice as far as I can think of it or spider shit pretty much kind of on the desks and around this place it is a shed after all so what can you expect so I need to clean that up first get ready for the kind of main piece of this video and what the title will be based on and as you can just about see it in the corner over there that is the PC I picked up for yesterday for 350 pounds we'll have a look at that coming up very shortly Right, so now everything's kind of cleaned up. I've kind of worked up a bit of a sweat at the same time. So I am one layer down. Hopefully, as we get into this video, this layer may well come off as well. But we think we're sitting at around 11 degrees now. So the heater's doing its thing. It's kind of slowly warming up in here. But let's focus on the task at hand. So about, about two months ago, I picked up a PC for 300 pounds. at an i7-6700, a Z170 motherboard, and 16 gigs of RAM. No graphics card, had a 240 gig SSD, 850 watt power supply, and it came in an Aero Cool Aero 500. So that case stunk, like it genuinely smelt bad. So I took all of that out, I put it in a new case, and then I added a GTX 970 and swapped 16 gigs of RAM for eight gigs of RAM. So I kind of kept my own RAM a little while kept a little bit more RAM for myself to use later on, and then sold that PC for around £525. So I made about £150-ish profit on it. And that was the kind of first PC I'd built in a while that I kind of built and sold and made money on. So this is a £350 gaming PC. It stinks. Like genuinely, you can't get it over a camera, obviously, and over a video, but it smells badly. Like. There, was, there were smokers that had this PC before, and it shows. I'm not sure if there's a bit of ash in there, but it's a lot of kind of gray, whitey dust in there. It smells bad. As soon as I kind of brought it into the car, my girlfriend realized, was like, did they smoke? I was like, yeah, they did. How did you guess? And um, so that's kind of obvious in a way. But other than that, giving it a bit of a clean and a bit of a refresh, we've got a i5-8400, so that's a damn good 6-core CPU, definitely budget friendly, would have been sold a lot more and recommended a lot more if they were actually readily available. So that's in there, we've got a Z370 motherboard, we've got a GTX 970 G1 Gaming from Gigabyte, so that's kind of like the more overclocked, factory overclocked version with some LEDs on the side. We've got a 240 gig SSD, we've got a 2 terabyte hard drive, and 16 gigs of a data ram this build is balling for 350 pounds so i'm gonna clean it up get it looking better i'm not sure if i'm gonna reuse the case it's a cyber power pc they the one of their kind of own custom cases i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it it's not rocking enough kind of rgb or it smells is the main issue for me so i probably won't reuse the case it did have some rg uh, some red leds in there as well which sat here they've just kind of fallen off but I'll give you guys a quick rundown on the inside and we can have a look closer look at how this PC kind of looks right now so this is what we're working with we've got a lot of dust just kind of sat on there this bit here around the GPU is the bit that bothers me the most this is proper yellow dust like it is Genuinely disgusting. Let's try and get the light in there. There we go. That is thick dust. Obviously, kind of due to the heat or smoke and dirt, the RGB LED strip is no longer with us. It still works, 
just doesn't stick at all. You can see on the fans, the fans need a, they need some love. The CPU fan as well also needs a little bit of love. The GPU all over needs a bit of love. Uh, the RAM looks clean. And then kind of the front intake as well, all choked up, covered in dust. But other than that, I think just a bit of a clean, cleaning everything up with some alcohol wipes, reapplying some thermal paste, and pretty much that's about it. Obviously a new case. I'm probably gonna have to change that cooler as well because, uh, well, it's just disgusting. And I think it's gonna be quite hard to clean and it will also kind of give the PC a better overall look when it comes to selling it. So as far as that PC goes, I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean. I'll bring you guys along for the process and then we can look at kind of thinking about how we're gonna rehome this and kind of reuse this PC. Maybe in a new case with maybe some different features. We've got to look at thinking of getting a new cooler. So this might actually end up being a bit of a two-part video, which some of you may or may not, may not like, but I need to get some parts ordered, a new cooler, a new case, and kind of decide on what I'm gonna do with this and decide how much money I wanna make from this to kind of keep this channel going and keep this channel funded. So let's get to cleaning it up and see how it looks afterwards. So I'd say I've pretty much come to the conclusion that there is not much left to be saved with this case. Everything has got to come out and be properly cleaned. I have never seen so much dust in a PC. Considering this has an i5-8400, so this is a within maybe a year old at kind of most, maybe a little bit, if they bought it kind of as soon as it came out. I am surprised how dirty this has got in such a short space of time. That 970 in there, oh my god. That basically just wants throwing in a bath of oil, kind of letting all that kind of dirt and disgustingness just kind of melt away off of it. But the best I can do is a fan or a blower and some kind of alcohol wipes and some WD-40 and we'll try and get this looking good again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film the whole, pro the whole process because I feel like this could take a couple hours. So I'm kinda gonna kinda cut it here and then you're gonna see it looking much cleaner and much nicer.
Right, so the whole thing now is completely disassembled. The case that was there actually seemed like quite a nice case of Monus, and it's a bit of a shame to kind of just kind of discard it. It had some nice built in red kind of LEDs throughout the case on the side, on the front, and it's a bit of a shame to have to see them go. So, yeah, it kind of goes to the graveyard of stinky PCs. So, there you go, the graveyard of stinky PCs next to the bin full of rubbish but i'll kind of walk you guys through kind of a haul, a haul what we've managed to acquire from this build and how we can reuse that in the future going forward because it's not always worth it just kind of taking everything out and just kind of putting it in a new case and being like well that's good enough that'll do so we'll have a look at kind of thinking what we can reuse in a build and what we can also reuse maybe for myself my own personal stuff or even just kind of for my collection to reuse later and kind of add further down the line. So first things first, we'll start with the really boring stuff. This is the stuff that come out of the case, which isn't really much fun. So we've got two SATA cables, this red, not very sticky LED, a speaker, a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth 4.0 adapter, really good one there. And we've got, I think this is an N300 PCIe uh, wireless card with no antennas. Uh, so a lot of that is pretty much useless other than probably the, the SATA cables. We've got the IO shield for the motherboard, but obviously the storage is useful. We've got two terabytes and a 240 gig SSD. Realistically, they both don't need to go in the same PC if I was to sell it on. So we may just get away with the just the SSD and reuse that two terabyte hard drive somewhere else. It's, I don't feel like it's really gonna add much more, but I could kind of leave it as an option for somebody, kind of throw in that for maybe 30 pounds more if they want me to fit it it's up to them and then we've got the master watt 500 light from cooler master this looks to be in really good condition the dust filter that was on the bottom of this case did a really really good job there's kind of minimal dust build up in there i'm pretty happy with how that looks as a result of things obviously one of the key parts is the motherboard the ram and the cpu Without all of that, you can't get very far. So the cooler, upon further inspection, doesn't look too grody. Like, it doesn't look great, I'll admit, but I've seen worse. It started out a lot worse before we kind of gave it a, a blow job, whatever we did to it to kind of make it less dusty. We'll go with a blow job. I feel like uh, that, that term's not really used very often in PC building and kind of PC cleaning. So the, we gave it a blow job. We gave everything a blowjob, and uh, I feel like everything's kind of worked out well. But the last one that's gonna need some serious kind of cleaning and work is this GPU. This is disgusting. So I think that this is an old graphics card. They probably bought all this stuff from CyberPower, and the GPU they've reused from somewhere or bought secondhand, because it is disgustingly dirty. I'd say in comparison to everything else, it wasn't clean at all, but this is where most of the dirt and grime lives in this card here. So that may need some proper deep cleaning, but overall I'd say I'm pretty impressed with what we've managed to acquire here. We've got a pretty good haul of components to go into another PC, and I'll be looking forward to see what we can conjure up. I did pick this up the other day, if I can find the box. So I did manage to acquire this uh, just before Christmas, it's a GTX 1060 6 gig card, and I picked it up for 110 pounds. So I may think about using that kind of with this build to get something a little bit more kind of modern, very modern really, when you think about it. Eighth gen i5 and a GTX 1060, fairly modern hardware. So that might be something to consider, or just kind of reusing and giving some love back to this 970, which it performs fairly similar to the 1060 anyway so we'll have a think about that in the future right then guys i'd say that pretty much brings us to the end of this video i've got some cleaning to do i've got some scrubbing up to do i've got some thermal paste application to do and i'll be honest i don't want to record all that because you guys can be quite judgmental actually no it's more the fact that i don't know how long it will take me and i don't have enough kind of memory card support to take up these hours of cleaning which I'm about to embark upon. So I'm going to clean everything up, 
and then maybe in the next video we'll look at kind of reusing all of this and getting a new PC put together and ready for somebody to purchase off of me and buy and enjoy and kind of give some love back to again. It will look great when it goes to them and hopefully it will stay that way and they keep it good as well. So if you've enjoyed today's video feel free to click that like button. If you didn't click that dislike button. Leave your comment down below. Let me know what you charming literally the worst outro ever with a fly flying into my mouth ah. anyway guys if you like this video feel free to click that like button if you didn't click that dislike button leave your comments down below let me know what the state of your PCs is like do you look after your PC and um, if you decide my face hasn't offended you don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so we can see each other again soon thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one Cheers. Let me know what